Hello, my name is Klaus M and I'm the co-founder of UserSnap and UserSnap is the leading user feedback platform and I want to show you today what you can do with UserSnap. So first of all, what is UserSnap? UserSnap is a user feedback platform for digital products. You can collect user feedback from your web applications, your website, um, re mobile responsive applications and also native applications. It is made for product managers and product people. So how to improve your product, where are the pains and the needs of your users. And to better understand that, you can collect um, visually bug reports. We will see that later in the demo, but also feature requests, ideas, and ask questions at the right time. What does this mean? Um, if you want to understand, for example, the value of a certain feature, you can show service um, at the right time in a certain behavior of your users and better understand how this helps your um, customers um, to do their business. So a lot of companies are already using UserSnap. Here are some of them. And we are also compliant with current data privacy regulations, which is important because your data of your customers should be protected at all times. And now let's jump into the right into the demo. And I want to show you how to collect feedback in your digital product, application, website, and so on. And this is what you will see in the first part. So my demo is split in several parts where I want to show you how to collect the user feedback in your application, how easy that is. As a next part, I want to show you how you can manage um, user, snap, uh, user feedback in your feedback hub, in the dashboard of UserSnap, and also how you can integrate it with your existing um, applications like Jira, Azure DevOps, Slack, MS Teams, and so on. Um, because UserSnap should never, not be the end of the road, but rather your central feedback hub. Okay, let's do that. So what you see here is an example application, um, could be yours. And the Tatini feedback um, company, they have this application and they want to collect feedback from the users. And it's very easy with UserSnap. So actually it's just a few lines of JavaScript code that you have to implement into your application. And then you can um, show such a feedback button to your users and you don't have to uh, educate them on anything. It's just a click. And the first thing they get is a feedback menu and the feedback menu should actually help them to channel their feedback. So, you know, maybe they want to rate their experience or they want to submit a feature request or they want to record um, any kind of issue they're experiencing with the application. And let's do that right now. So as you can see, there are several um, problems here in the application and immediately after I clicked on that button, my screen turns actually into a screenshot. And that's pretty cool because you can very easily annotate um, and show that there are problems. And so your users, it's super easy for them to show you if there is something broken. And that actually helps you to immediately understand what the problem is. It's like looking over their shoulders. Um, this is a typo, so we can also add some comments to the images. And you also see that there is something blacked out, which is obviously, as it's the credit card number and confidential information that can also be um, marked and hidden. And that is super easy to um, annotate. And additionally to that, so please fix that, fix this issue. And additionally to that, um, there is also a lot of metadata added. So like this, um, what URL it is coming from, the screen size, the browser size, um, the country and the location where this feedback is coming from. So maybe there are some also um, internet connection errors, etc., etc. So your engineers will love that because they immediately understand what the problem is and can also add the, um, the console errors or so the browser errors that are happening in the Additionally to that, you can also call, um, report uh, record a session. So that means if there is any issue that you want to share uh, with the company, so your users want to share that with you, they can record it and even record the voice. And then if something like this is happening and the widgets are switching, um, this is easily recorded here, 10 seconds, and the widgets are switching, which actually you would not even have to add here because we already you already know that. <laughs> but um, the video is super comfortable to understand issues also in a user flow and it's submitted very easily. Um, as I said, the integration is super easy, few lines of code um, and then it's done. You can um, customize the widgets, the colors, 
um, and also the um, the the kind of the um, answer or the at the end of the submission you can change the screen. Additionally, um, you can also ask for feature requests or ideas, and here these forms and these widgets can be fully um, adapted. Although we are providing already some um, templates, so you don't have to think everything from scratch how you want to set them up. Um, yeah, and then they can add, for example, we need a new search. Um, would help me to find my task for the day. And this already shows that a user might, you know, give you a solution that they think that's the right thing. And then by asking them for the problem that they actually have, you can find out um, that they might not uh, even need a new search. So that's super helpful to understand the needs and hopefully make better product with that. Um, and let's send that in. As you could see, the widget was placed somewhere else. You can also define the position of the widget where it should be. Additionally, you can also um, share in a, the existing feedback um, or the feature requests in a so-called public board. So whenever you're collecting feedback, um, it can be shared why, like through your whole customer base and they can start discussing new incoming features and hopefully with that you get the prioritization of what you should build next and what should make um, their way to your uh, roadmap. So let's close that and last but not least for this use case, um, also rating their experience can be done and as you can see the widget it does not have to move around all the way but you can decide where it should pop up. There can be a star rating. There can be smileys. Um, you, we also support MPS and thumbs up. So you can ask them how um, happy are you with the product? And as you can see, if they're not so happy, the question is also changing based on that. So you are asking the follow-up question and this is where you really understand what the problem is um, and so on. So <clears throat> this is one way of using UserSnap for collecting bugs or feature requests. However, you can use the widgets also without the feedback menu. So in case you know you want to do a beta testing or um, a user acceptance testing um, in your uh, product uh, rollout, then that's also po totally possible. You can also um, show widgets after a certain time, for example, like let's say you want to collect after 90 days from your customers the um, how they feel about your product, if they would refer you. So super easy to set up. And as we mentioned, as I mentioned before, sometimes you want to understand better in the, to, to a certain feature or if they in case here, if they're canceling, why they are doing that. And you can also use UserSnap for micro surveys to better understand why they are doing something, why they are um, doing something in a certain way. And that should help you to um, understand the users better and hopefully improve your product. Last but not least for the collection part, you can not only initiate UserSnap with a button or time-based, but you can also trigger UserSnap based on a certain behavior of the customers or of your users. Let's say you launched a new module, which is a payment module, and then after it is used, and I'm just putting some stuff in here, after it is used, you can also fire a widget based on the event. And as you can see, it is like referring to the module where you're happy with the payment and then you can validate your features and understand if you really brought the right value to your customers. So that also works mobile responsive. So if your website, if you're using it on a mobile phone, it uh, also helps you to collect the user feedback. And yeah, let's jump to the next part. Centralize and manage user feedback and get insights. So everything that you saw is collected and goes to the UserSnap Feedback Hub, or we call it the, the UserSnap Dashboard that is here for you to manage the user feedback. So we're now in the UserSnap Dashboard. This dashboard, um, yeah, this is actually one widget and it's data. So here we are in the bug reporting. So we saw the screen recording or the screenshot that we took and the annotations that we took, which is here. Um, that's the one from before. You see where where, where we put our uh, where we put all the the annotations and also the hidden part, so you cannot see confidential information. And additionally, you also see a lot of um, 
a lot of like um, metadata that will help you to or your engineers to analyze uh, why this why a certain problem or issue occurs. Um, additionally to that, so you see the screen size, the location, what uh, operating system and browser I'm using and so on. Additionally, you can also add custom data, which means that uh, you can add information that might be helpful for your um, application, let's say a session ID or something similar. Um, you can also add user segmentation data to each user who is submitting feedback. And by doing that, you can also sh like show certain widgets only to people or to users with certain attributes. Let's say here they have an enterprise plan and you're only sh showing a certain widget. You're only asking questions to certain segments. And last but not least, um, yeah, the console log. So this is the browser errors that are recorded. As I said, it's like looking over the shoulder of the users and your engineers will love that. Um, the URL and you see here the comments from the users. Here it is like our, we have some AI functionality implemented into UserSnap to help you uh, automate some of the tasks that you normally have to do manually. And here the smart labels already suggest that this uh, is a bug and it puts it as a label. So I can add a lot of labels to each um, item, feedback item. And by doing that, I'm kind of clustering the feedback uh, and you can later see like how often a certain feedback was sent in for a certain term um, and the AI helps you here. As you can also see, it was automatically sent to, to Slack channel or MS Teams channel. So this can easily be done, but I will go to the integrations in a moment. Um, and now you can either add some comments internally or you can even reply to your customers. So here are some predefined templates that I could use. Um, to send to my customers or of course um, we have an, uh, a helpful assistant an AI assistant that will help you to generate automatic replies that you can use and um, send it to your customers because you should close the loop they should feel they should feel appreciated um, by by hearing back from you and this is super helpful um, if they would reply via email so this email this message is sent via email and if they're replying then um, you will see that here in a chronological order and you can have a conversation and you can use it as a customer support tool. UserSnap here in this project, you can not only in this, use it in this list and have a lot of filter segments to kind of find the right feedback items um, or assign it internally to teams or assign a priority or even move it to a certain stage, which you can also define by yourself. Um, you can also have a very nice Kanban view that helps you, you know, to move things along the uh, the workflow. Okay, um, let's go to the insights. So what insights can you learn from UserSnap? Going to the insights, um, this is a, a page that shows you actually here in the last month, there were six feedback items coming in. What was the resolution time? You see some data, you saw where it is sent to, where it is placed, so you can get a lot of insights into your um, data and there are also automated insights that is actually created with a little help of our um, AI functionalities. For example, a summary of your project to understand what are the main issues and additionally also what is the most urgent feedback and top mentioned um, topics here. And you can also send this and integrate this in existing data visualizations tools like um, Microsoft Power BI or Tableau to have more um, extensive reports in case you need that. But let's move next to how can I change actually the widget of UserSnap to change it and adapt it to my business needs. So clicking on the configuration button, you come into the widget editor. And the widget editor is actually, um, yeah, it's a very simple editor for you. It is simple to, to change the, the widgets here and you can easily add a new element. For example, you want to add a title or if you want to add an email, actually in my case, the email is automatically added, which you can do um, in your application. If the user is signed in, you can add the email automatically, but you can also add an email field or if you want to ask some additional um, question, you can also, for example, have here a poll with, um, for example, this one, or um, let me just, you can also have a multi-select so there are several options, easy to configure, and you don't need a long training for that. Um, as I said, styling can be changed, the intro and outro can be changed, and you can also 
um, decide where a button or where a widget should pop up with our um, targeting options that are quite extens extensive here. <coughs> and then it's super easy to integrate user snap here. <coughs> Um, it's just a few lines of JavaScript code, and you can also adapt that uh, a lot. Good. So this was one bug track, bug reporting project. If I go a bit outside of this one project, you can see that you can not only have one widget, but you can have multiple widgets. They can be live, or you can also pause them. And for example, the feature requests that we saw before is a different project. Um, <clears throat> here we have it. Uh, in this project. So you can assign different teams to different uh, topics and they are already in the right corner, in the right spot to, to work on, um, yeah, on the roadmap or on the bug reports, etc., etc. So new projects are easy to create. You have a library full of, sorry, my image is here. Um, so you can easily create a lot of new projects based on the existing library that we have here. Yeah. One step um, above, you have even spaces. So let's imagine you have different teams, you have different applications. You can uh, divide like separate projects and widgets into um, different um, spaces. And that will also help you in bigger organizations to manage the feedback um, properly. Let's go back to one important topic. UserSnap is not the end of the road. You can integrate it easily into existing applications like Jira, Let's talk about the existing applications that you have and hopefully you want to connect them with UserSnap. So I will show you quickly how easy that is as one of the last steps of this demo. Good, integrations. So we saw here the feedback is coming in and you can either manually or automatically send it over to certain other applications, Azure DevOps, Jira, etc. Um, let's just try that out and send it over to a Jira project that I already set up. And within a few seconds, it's then sent over to Jira. You also see the tasks here. We have a two-way integration. So when the status changes in Jira, it also changes in UserSnap. And clicking on that brings you directly to the issue in Jira. And you see also what your developers and engineers will see. And they can immediately start working on that, which is hopefully great for you too. Um, and how easy is that to set up? Let me quickly go into the configuration and on the manage point, there is the integrations and it's just one click and actually super easy to set up and uh, to integrate. And you can, as I said, decide if it should go manually to, uh, to, to this integration or you want to automatically send everything over. Um, yeah. There are 40 native integrations and with a solution like Zapier, you can also integrate up to 5,000 other applications. Let's come to my last point. I hope I gave you a good overview of what you can do with UserSnap and how it helps you to gather user insights, better understand the needs and pains of your users in your digital products, web applications, um, and how you can integrate it into your existing tech stack, into your existing applications and um, yeah, hopefully make your products better with that. And yeah, what are the next steps? I hope you liked what you saw. You can first of all sign up for a free trial um, at usersnap.com slash sign up, or you can con con uh, contact our lovely customer success team via the feedback button that you will find on the website. Um, or you can also watch more videos about Usersnap at our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Of course, I'm also here for you um, and yeah, Make feedback matter. Bye.